All right, so each Sunday in Lent, we're going to be lighting purple candles first, and then the pink candle, and then on Christmas Eve, when we're all here together at 7.30, Thursday, December 24th, we're going to light the middle candle, okay? The Christ candle, signifying that finally, through this time of Advent and waiting, expectation, Christ, the light of the world, is with us. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, A sign of belonging, of growth, of possibility, of awe and wonder. May it be a reminder of your divine spark kindling new beginning within us. So, Dr. Joel Roberts Poinsett found this um, plant in Mexico in 1828. He brought a couple clippings back to the U.S. and ever since it's been really important during the Advent and Christmas season. Um, so these, um, the leaves kind of look like stars, right? So it represents the star of Bethlehem, which shown what, um, during the Holy Night crash. Crashes were made with different materials, wood, ceramic, stone, gold, lots of different materials. And so what are some of the characters, or what are some of the things you see here in this crash? Yes, Gabby? Angels. Angels, good. Elijah? Cows. Cows, yes, Ian? Sheep. Sheep, good. Sam. Mary. Mary, good. Joseph. Joseph, good. Ian? Jesus. Jesus? Do you see Jesus? No. Uh-oh. Jesus is missing. <laughs> Well, one of the cool traditions that this church started a while back is in the crash to not have Jesus until Christmas Eve, okay? When we light the what color candle? White. The white candle, yeah. So we're going to have to wait a couple of weeks until we see Jesus here in the crash. One of the reasons for a bell is to tell people that it's time to come to church. And so the sound that you'll probably hear if you hear one of those kind of bells is just, just keeps going and going, like for 10 minutes until everybody finally gets to church. This is Chinatown time, right? Right now we're a tree and they're as tall as the roof and he was walking through all those beautiful pine trees and he looked up to the stars and Yes, yes, look up. Yeah, all right. So he looked up to the stars, and it was really beautiful. It was night. All the stars were shining. And then it just reminded him of the Holy One dropping down from the sky. 